Many on the left in America, the left politically, hold up Nordic-style socialism as an ideal for American political economy as well. You have written that that's, at best, an apples and oranges comparison. How is Nordic socialism different than what's being advocated here in America? In not only the US, but globally, the idea of socialism was almost dead until the left started saying, you know what? We don't want socialism like North Korea, Venezuela, Soviet Union, all of these miserable failures. No, no, no. We want Nordic style socialism. And suddenly they started to have a case. But as I show, the Nordic success story is about a unique culture and it relies on, you know what, free markets. Mm. Socialism has not been successful in Nordic countries. And by large, Nordic countries have spent 30 years moving away from socialism. The main reason for the success is they have a unique working ethics. They have per perhaps the strongest yeah. working ethics yeah. in the world. They have a culture about hard work, self-reliance, helping your neighbor. And this historic culture has underpinned their success. And unfortunately, the welfare state has slowly, slowly been grinding down the working ethics, grinding down the mm. ethics of personal responsibility. And I should know that I grew up with welfare support in Sweden. So you see how really the system is supposedly help the poor, yeah. actually traps families who would otherwise be thriving middle class families in government dependency. Right. Unfortunately, the welfare state has partially destroyed the Nordic uh, working ethics. Right. And the Nordic countries have a class of socially poor who are dependent on welfare and welfare dependencies passed from generation to generation, generation. So yeah. Uh, the pro but, you know, still today, the prosperity of Nordic countries comes from capitalism. No doubt about it. In the index of economic freedom, which is a measure of how much capitalism we have in a country, Denmark has the same score as the United States. How? How can the country with the highest tax on the planet have the same score as the United States? Because in virtually every other way, U.S. has more government in the involvement in the economy. Mm -hmm. The Nordics have compensated for big high taxes and big government by having free markets in virtually every other area of the economy. And for the past 20, 30 years, every Nordic economy has been moving away from um, big welfare to smaller welfare, from generous welfare to less generous welfare, from high taxes to lower taxes, mm -hmm. from government regulation to freer markets. So, you know, that's the true story of Nordic countries. That's the reality of Nordic countries. Economic policy is not just about creating wealth. Economic policy is about creating a society which fosters individual responsibility, mm -hmm. which fosters working ethics. You see, culture matters. Right. Right. And the culture of hard work, responsibility, high levels of trust, solidarity with your neighbors has been more yeah. uh, preserved among Nordic Americans. Right. Um, I think young people in America, if they were to hear you speak and read your book, might be surprised at what getting the thing they're asking for, democratic socialism, would bring them. Uh, loss of freedom, yeah. loss of opportunity, destruction of incentives, destruction of your own your work ethic. You know, I think that uh, to understand it, you have to just read about the tens of millions of people socialism has killed. And I, I'm, a, I'm a moderate guy. I don't exaggerate, but it is. I mean, that's the numbers. But really, I think understand their ideas. People don't understand ideas of socialism. What is the goal of socialism? It is to break down the individual responsibility. Mm -hmm. And that's a, the goal of Marxism, not, not just consumers. That's a goal. Break down the individual, break down the family, break down capitalism, and break down every institution of the social society, and civil society, and replace, replace it, it with state. One column, the state. It's been a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much. Debunking Utopia. My pleasure. A great book. I hope it's widely read and you'll receive much success here in America. Thank you so much. Thank you.